Hello, everybody. Welcome to another program with me, Dr. Roos, and random callers who have questions about good sex. Don't adjust your screen. I'm in glorious black and white. Here's our first caller. My ex-girlfriend posted pictures of me wearing assless rubber pants on the internet. I'm very upset and angry about the betrayal. Hey, wait a minute. I think I saw those pictures. I must say, if you're going to wear assless rubber pants, for heaven's sake, shave your ass. Why can't the lesbian community understand this? Nobody wants to see a hairy ass on an otherwise hot dyke. Who's next? Hello, Dr. Ruth. I'm still a virgin, but I was recently diagnosed with an STD. It must have happened when I was using a public restroom. How can I explain this to my boyfriend? That depends. Does he still believe in the tooth fairy? Who's our next caller? Hello, Dr. Ruth. I am 52 years old and I've missed my period for several months now. My husband thinks that after all this time, I should at least be showing. Do you suppose I see a gynecologist to make sure the pregnancy is going along smoothly? Actually, this does not look like a matter for a gynecologist to me. Better you go straight to a psychiatrist, because it is not your female parts that you need examined. Next caller. Hello, Dr. Ruth. I like chick flicks. Am I gay? That depends. Do you like action-adventure movies and football games as well? Not really. I think you just answered your own question. Who's next? Hello, Dr. Ruth. Our daughter is asking to be put on the pill, but my wife and I don't believe in birth control. Maybe there's good news for you. A new pill has been developed. It weighs 800 pounds. 800 pounds? Yes, indeed. You can maneuver it to block the door of your daughter's bedroom. We've time for one more caller. Hello, Dr. Ruth. What's all this fuss about thespians? Why don't people leave them alone? I don't understand it either. Some of them are really good actors. What they do in their private life is nobody's business. That's all the time we have for today. Until next time, always remember and never forget. Anything two consenting adults do in the privacy of their own bedroom, living room or on the kitchen table is good sex.